Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm here with a bit of a haul and review. I was contacted by a company called uh, Fashion Ataha. Uh, they sell all kinds of clothing, dresses in particular, kind of bandage dresses, going out clothes and things like that. And they just asked me to do a review on some of their clothes. And of course I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So they asked me to pick out five things that I um, you know wanted to review and they said pick an extra three in case some of the five in case any of the five that you've chosen um, just happen to not be in stock and so one of my things were not in stock so they did replace it with the other with one of the three that I had um, chosen as kind of like replacements okay so I will start off with the dress that I'm wearing it is a two-piece crop top with a kind of a, a bandage pencil skirt fits quite figure hugging and it comes like just just down to above the knee and it has um, white detailing on cream for the skirt or like on a nude beige color on the skirt and as for the top it has this nude detailing on a cream color but I've just paired that with a pair of my nude heels that I probably showed in one of my hip, my hauls before. So the next outfit I chose was this one. I just wanted to go for stuff that I wouldn't typically go for. It's another bandage dress. It looks like that. It's red on the bottom and it's got a cream kind of bandeau part here and then you've also got the black detailing um, with beads and lace and the straps are a red elastic. And so this is what the dress looks like up close. You'll see what it looks like on, because I'm going to try it on. This is what it looks like on the back. This would have been perfect for Valentine's Day if I actually celebrated it. <laughs> so, In the inside, of course, you can actually, some of the stitching detail is exposed here. But I guess that's just because, you know, the, you know, the detailing had to be sewn on. So that's the only reason why it's exposed. It would have been a bit better if it was more of a cream colour. But I really don't think that takes away... For me, as for me anyway, it doesn't really take away from the dress itself. The next outfit um, is actually another two piece. Yeah, three of the outfits out of the five are two pieces. On the website, you'll see the models and they're you know, wearing these outfits. And you just try and imagine it on yourself, like how would that look on me? And I was just like, I wasn't really too sure how it would look, but then I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it and we'll see how it goes. And I've actually worn this out before. It looks like that. It's white lace, or white netting. I can't remember what the material is called, but it's got kind of like a pinkish um, material un underneath. And it's a crop top as well. And this is the skirt that goes with it. This has got a simple elastic around the waist and it's relatively long. It's um, a decent length. And then you've got the end bits, which are quite so tapered. They're just kind of not, they're not straight cut. They are kind of zigzaggy see there so the next outfit is um, another nude color well I would say nude but it's kind of like a, co a coffee or a mocha and so this is the top sorry I haven't ironed it it's quite s silky I actually didn't expect it to be this texture on the photograph it looked a bit more matte that makes sense yeah it didn't look uh, as you know as uh, kind of silky shiny as this but I really don't have a problem with that it's kind of nice I kind of like the idea of trying out new uh, materials as well and I felt like this was kind of the purpose of me getting these items so that I thought it was a good opportunity to try new things and this is the skirt it goes to the middle of my calf and it has a slit on the side and the final outfit is a black um, one piece jumpsuit but unfortunately this does not fit me and I doubt it would fit anybody else just because of the structure of it and the way and the way it was made I feel like it needs more support at the back what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave links to the website and leave links to the individual items so that you can click on it and see how they're being modeled but um, I think most of the stuff that I got you know were pretty like the four items the four other items other than this one were good um, it's just this one's kind of like a bit um, hit and miss yeah so yeah this is the the one piece um, jumpsuit it's got a sweet heart top part and it gets thinner as you go to the bottom of the leg 
And then the problem area I found was just this back part. The elastic was not really serving a purpose. It's just not elastic -y enough. I'm pretty sure I could try and work on it, but um, that's not why you buy clothes online. You want it to kind of be ready to wear, you know, ready to wear fashion, ready to wear clothing. You don't really want to have to alter it. I'm not going to bother trying it on because it will just fall off. You can tell it's quite a cute jumpsuit anyway because here are the pockets. It has pockets and pockets are always good to have on clothing. I think they do add a bit of dimension sometimes as well. Um, when it comes to clothing like this, it's kind of like, you know, you've got your pockets in the side. So that's been all for this haul and review. Um, I'd love to know which one was your favourite. Um, also head over to my blog. I've got a new blog. I've set it up now. Um, and I'm still working on it. I still want to get it redesigned. It's looking quite basic at the moment, but I just want to kind of get get the content out there. I think I've got one blog post up there already, and by the time you watch this video, there should be another one up. So you can we have a read. If some of you are, love reading, I do actually like reading blog posts. I really do. Um, so yeah, check that out. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.